New information overnight about a hot air balloon crash. We now know three people on board are hurt. This happened right near Calumet and Pine Streets in downtown Burlington last night. And that is where we find Hannah Hilliard joining us live this morning. And Hannah, any activity out there? You've been out there since we started the show. What's going on? All right, Diana. So we saw some cars drive by, but really no police activity out here this morning. In fact, it appears that the hot air balloon has been taken away from the scene. And in the last hour, we've seen that train that was parked here or uh, at a standstill here on these tracks. It has since taken off northbound on these tracks. But right here in this area is really where this all unfolded last night. PI accident. It's going to be near Love, Inc. So it was a hot air balloon that was struck by a train on the way down. There's at least three patients. Now you can hear from that first call coming in as a hot air balloon versus train. Witnesses tell Burlington police it appeared the balloon was in distress up in the air as it collided with a northbound Canadian national train on the ground. Once on scene, police found three people with serious injuries. Burlington Police Department, the NTSB, FAA and others are now sorting out how this all happened as witnesses described what they saw. A large amount of rescue trucks went by, paramedics, every one practically in town had gone by the house, heading south on Pine Street. Um, they all congregated on top of the bridge, on Bridge Street, um, and they were all looking south. Then they all seemed to disappear. At, at the same time, while this was going on, I noticed the freight train was parked and just idling there under the bridge. Hannah, what have we learned about those three people hurt? Yeah, overnight we did learn that all three of them are adults that were in this hot air balloon. All three of them right now are at Freighter Hospital. They suffered serious and life-threatening injuries. That's according to the Burlington Police Department. Okay, something we're following up on today, Hannah. Thank you. This story is on WISN.com and the 12 News app. You can find it on our homepage right now. We will be posting updates as soon as they come in.